I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Desdemona. And so the mighty have fallen. Dozens of years, countless sacrifices. It all paid off thanks to you. Deacon says this was his plan all along. Who knows? Maybe he did plan it all. Some things even Deacon can't do. Maybe. In days gone by, when us old-timers waxed rhapsodic about life without the Institute, we recognized our work wouldn't end immediately. Hate runs deep in the Commonwealth, deeper than the soil. To them, synths are the living embodiment of the Institute's oppression. I'd understand if you want a much-needed vacation. But are you up for the next mission, Whisper? Sorry, Des. I'm done with all the missions. You've more than earned that, but we'll have safe houses full of synths looking for help on that last mile to safety. And we'd be stupid to think the Institute won't launch some sort of retaliation. So just in case, we'll keep the lantern lit for you. You. All of you. We've rescued enough of your people. You don't have to say anything. You will protect them. Are we safe? Just because you're out of the Institute doesn't mean you're safe. Or the Railroad's job is over. There's a lot of work ahead of us. But together, we'll get there. <laughs> 